Here comes the rain and also the thunder. The route is blocked. There's a truck stuck. And you will see DJ over there. I don't know if you can see him. DJ is a local, he's from Madagascar, and he's gonna come with me. This way. trying to do this on a fully loaded Alaska. That would have been an absolute nightmare. Taking the wagons out of the track. Oof. Just let them pass. Okay, we made it to a big place, a very long name it has, <laughs> that for a second I cannot remember. Uh, I'm just gonna fill up here. Huh? Sapphire! I don't know what he's trying to sell me. I think it's something illegal. <laughs> okay. Fueled up. So we are now in Ambato Lampi. <laughs> and Francois told me, okay, you can ride to Ambato Lampi. But if you reach before two o'clock, you can actually continue to, um, what's it called now? Ansira Bay, I think it's called. But if you're later than two o'clock, then uh, just stay the night here. Because otherwise you won't make it. But of course, if somebody says that to me, my mind thinks, challenge accepted. How cute is this town? There's all these tuk-tuks here. <laughs> it's really like... Uh, Madagascar feels like a combination of India and like Malaysia and a bit of Africa. It's a very interesting, interesting combination. Look how 
how cool. This kind of looks similar to the capital, Tana, or Antananarivo, with the rice fields just everywhere, also in the city. <laughs> wow! Very cute village. Look at this. Oh, come on, ducky. Come on. Come on. Somehow it's a single chill now. <laughs> No idea what he was saying. Something about the road ahead. <laughs> it sounded like he was trying to warn us for something, I don't know. But DJ said go ahead, so. Oh no. It just starts raining. It's finally caught up with us. Uh, you see? Yeah. Pist. C'est pas 50 km? Here comes the rain and also the thunder. I could already hear thunder in the background, so I think we're just gonna stay here for now, wait it out a little bit. I think it's still 50 kilometers to where we're going, <laughs> but it's really slow going, so yeah. It's probably, uh, I would say, probably another hour and a half. You hear that thunder or two maybe? But we actually stopped at the place and they have some food, so maybe we can eat something, let's see. We get him some instructions. Combien de kilometers? This is the route. Uh huh. Trente-neuf. Principal, trente-neuf. Trente-neuf. There is another piste that uh -huh. cuts direct at the près vingt-cinq. Ah. Okay, vingt-cinq. <laughs> Let me try something again. I don't know what this is. It looks the same like what I had before, I think. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm. These ones are warm. Mm. This is really good. Mm. Mm. I see lightning in the distance. distance. I'm gonna try this other thing as well. This. I think it has some vegetables in it or something. Mm. 
This is very good. Très bien. Très bon. It is, uh, we know a shortcut, I think, that it's only 25 k's. So we just got directions, but um, I'm just going to follow DJ now because he knows where we're going, I think. <laughs> Four kilometers. Uh huh. There is school. Uh huh. One kilometer. <laughs> You can ride. DJ can ride. <laughs> He's <laughs> he already lost me. <laughs> it's not far anymore, but I just hope that it doesn't get really slippery very quickly. is blocked there's a truck stuck I did it. Thank you. truck of course Oof. <laughs> made a little bit of a mess off the road See, this is mega slippery like you wouldn't believe Exactly that same stuff I had in Cameroon. Remember when I crossed the border from Nigeria and then all was fine and then it started raining and it became, became like an ice rink. This is the same stuff. Okay, one last bit, I hope. There's these young boys, I think mainly, and they're pushing like kind of like a big wheelbarrow. Or it's not even a wheelbarrow, it's just a one wheel. And they're pushing this wood. That is some really hard work. Yeah, Madagascar has 30 million people. I was actually surprised at that number. I mean, the country is big. Uh, I believe Madagascar is the same size as France and Belgium together. Something like that. And then with 30 million people. See, these are the kind of wheelbarrow type things.
Very strong people. These are all crops, I think, harvests. So they're just walking all of that down from the mountain. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, I just gotta look at the view here, hey? Beautiful. That must be uh, where we're going. Ansirabe. Ansirabe. Yeah. Almost there. <laughs> Just the last bit. Plus store. Electrotech. They have everything here. Wow, look at this. Huh. It's the Notre Dame de la Salette. Wow. Did not see that coming. <sighs> I'm shattered. <laughs> Oh man, it is now 5.30. It took us more than 10 hours of constant riding. <laughs> and like only a few stops. I <sighs> can't get off the bike. Side stand. Ooh, we are a bit muddy. <laughs> So I made it to room. This is my room for tonight. So yeah, it was really, <laughs> it was really slow going because I think total distance, I'm not entirely sure, maybe 250, 250 kilometers. Like, yeah, not a lot, <laughs> but it was awesome. Like what a beginning of my ride through Madagascar, right? I absolutely loved it. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep this short, but I just want to show you on the map uh, where I am now and also what the plan is for the next video. Uh, Francois gave me this map of Madagascar because Madagascar is also indicated on my own map, but here it's a lot more detailed and I already made notes about things that he said about where we can find fuel and that sort of thing. Um, so I'm just going to show you on this nice map. This is where Tana is, the capital of Madagascar, Antananarani Rivo, and we are now here. So yeah, that's not very far, right? We were just riding all around here and then we came back here. And the area that I'll be exploring, I mean, the island is way too big to go everywhere, but I really want to see this part of Madagascar. And all of this is dirt. There are no paved roads, but to get there, you do have to take the paved roads. So, this road and it connects here and here this is tarmac and it's the only way to get to this part of madagascar so in the next ride uh, we're gonna try and do this in one day 
It's still, it's far. It's nearly 500 kilometers, which is a lot if you ride on Enduros. But um, yeah, so I, th I think we're going to try and do this in one day and then ride all dirt around here. So I will not have to ride any more tarmac with this motorbike once we made it make it here. So yeah, that's the plan. I am quickly going to shower, eat, uh, copy all my files, charge all my batteries, basically make everything ready for tomorrow. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and then I will see you in the next video.